In this video, you'll learn how to update your user settings and profile picture. User settings include contact information and other settings that will help your instructors and peers contact and identify you. Just keep in mind that all institutions may have different permission sets for their users, so all of these settings may not be available to you. Start off by clicking on the settings link at the top right corner of your screen. On this page you will find all of your personal user settings. The first thing we're going to do is add a profile picture. You can do this by clicking the profile picture icon. If you've loaded a profile picture in the past, it will appear here, and you can select the image you want to use. But if you want to add a new picture, or if you've never uploaded a profile picture before, you will need to click Upload a New Image, then click Choose File or Browse depending on your browser. Find the image you would like to use for your profile picture on your computer, select it, and click Open. A square image is recommended to prevent your picture from being resized or distorted. Now click the Add File button and let the image upload into Canvas. By default, the image you just uploaded should automatically be selected, so click the Select Image button to set this image as your profile picture. Also note that any profile pictures you add will be stored in a Profile Pictures folder, which can be found in your personal Canvas files right here. Now let's edit the rest of your user settings. To do this, click the Edit Settings button in the sidebar on the right. Remember that all of these settings may not be available to you. First, update your full name, which is the name that will be used for grading. You can also update your display name, which is the name that people will see in discussions, messages, and comments. Last of all, you can update your sortable name, which is the name that would appear in a sorted list. If you'd like to change the language in which Canvas appears for you, click the Language drop-down menu and select the appropriate language. To change your time zone, select the zone in the drop-down menu. You can also change your Canvas theme. You can select the default Canvas theme or the high contrast theme, which increases the color contrast of text and images on your computer screen to make them more distinct and easier to identify. You may also have the ability to change your password. To do so, just check this box and fill in the old and new password information. After updating your user settings, don't forget to save these changes by clicking the Update Settings button. Now let's take a look at the sidebar on the right where it says Ways to Contact. This is where you can add additional emails or contact methods in Canvas. To add an additional email, click the Add Email Address link, type in the email address you'd like to add, and click Register Email. Then go to that email address and click the provided link to finish the registration process. If you don't see the confirmation in your email inbox, you might need to check your spam folder. Notice that your email address will be grayed out and italicized until you click the confirmation link that was sent. If you did not receive the email, click on your email address and you can resend the verification message. When your email address is confirmed, it will no longer appear in gray italics. You can also add your mobile number as a contact method to receive text messages about activity in your courses. To add a phone number, click the Add Contact Method link. Enter your mobile or cell phone number and select your carrier. Then click the Register SMS button. A short code will immediately be sent to your mobile phone. Enter that number and click Confirm. Some of these other services listed below, like Facebook and Twitter, will also appear in this list once you've registered for them. Be sure to watch the video on notification preferences where we show you how to set up a variety of notifications that can be delivered to the ways to contact services that you choose to add. You've now completed this video tutorial on user settings and profile picture. For additional information on this or any other topic about Canvas, just visit help.instructure.com. Also, if you have any feedback about this video, please share your thoughts at instructure.com slash video survey.